Welcome to a treat bag tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters and today in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use up those leftover papers from your larger projects and turn them into adorable little gift or treat bags. These are a cinch to make and don't take a lot of product and you can see they're so versatile where you can stuff tea bags, gift cards, fun size candy bars, or other uh, small gift ideas and are great for giving out as party favors or to trick-or-treaters on Halloween, of course. So we hope that you join us for this tutorial. You can always, of course, pick up this kit that this is a part of. This is a part of our Club G45 Volume 8 for 2021. And these projects this month have been created for us by Maria, K Maria Cole. Of course, if you haven't already created this pop-up album, you can find the link to this tutorial below as well and create this fabulous and fun pop-up album with us also. But if you aren't a subscriber and you don't have the kit to create these uh, little bags is a cinch and you don't need many supplies. So you can just grab some papers and embellishments and create along with us. So we encourage you to do that and let's get started. To get started, we're gonna be using our Club G45 Volume 8 project sheet featuring our Midnight Tales. Of course, you can use any papers that you have in embellishments at home to create these treat bags. And you can even find this project sheet uh, for a free printable on our website at g45papers.com. Just go up to the top right hand side where it says inspiration, click on that tab and go to project sheets and you'll find this great project sheet there. Step one is to take our Midnight Tales signature sheet and we've cut this to be 12 inches by nine inches. And then from there, we've cut three different pieces that are four inches by nine inches. So if you're following along with other papers, um, any paper that's four by nine is going to work, especially if it has a nice decoration at the top. And then take all three of those pieces and score them from the bottom at four inches. And then go ahead and crease and burnish on that score line. For step three, if you created this pop-up album with us, we had you cut a extra piece that was two inches by 12 inches from our fairy mischief. And then you'll grab that leftover from this album. If you haven't already, from Fairy Mischief, cut a piece that's two inches by 12 inches, and then we'll cut that into three pieces that will be two by four. Next, we are gonna take this four inch edge and add some liquid adhesive on both sides, but not on the bottom edge. This will be creating our little pocket. So make sure you have a nice good seal and I do recommend using a liquid adhesive for uh, when you create pockets that way the things that you stick inside them uh, won't stick to the sides of your pocket you just want to go ahead and let that dry add adhesive to your purple strips and these are going to go right in the center of the front of your pocket From Abracadabra, we have cut out these stamps and used our scallop scissors to add the extra detail. Of course, you can always just cut them straight too and they'll look fabulous. And then we're gonna find the following embellishments. These three little rosebuds from your flower pack, three oranges, three stamps, and this trick or treat piece all from the ephemera assortment. These two are stickers and those are the stamps we already cut. So I'm going to put this witch sticker on our bag that already says trick or treat on it. She's just gonna go a little bit more towards the bottom. This trick or treat ephemera will go on one of these other ones. So it does have that cute little trick or treat message. And this trick or treat sticker will go on the third one. Next, we're going to adhere our stamps and pop up our foam, with foam, our cute little pumpkins. So 
So I've added my foam adhesive here. Yeah, that's just gonna layer on that stamp. And then edit some adhesive to the bottom half of your little tickets. And those are just gonna tuck into the top right hand side of your treat bags. And then trim off your stem so they're only um, about an inch and a half or so. And then put adhesive on your rosebuds. And then these are just going to go right inside your pocket. And then clean up any excess that may have gotten on your ticket. So there you go, we've did it. We've created three super cute, super easy treat bags. So we wanna see what you've created, what collections you've used. So go ahead and share your treat bags with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag, or of course, share with us on our graphic 45 official community page on Facebook. If you're looking for more great tutorials like this one or our pop-up album, you can find those on our YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get alerted every time we upload a fun and fabulous tutorial like this one. We thank you so much for joining us and as always, happy paper crafting.